And it, is that really what you hope to accomplish with the book as you're addressing these issues, helping people to see that their worldview is not compatible and actually the biblical worldview brings a cognitive, I mean, a, a, I mean, a, a, you said cognitive dissonance, but it's the opposite way. It's coherence. Um, is that what you hope to accomplish by helping people see that? And you provide story after story of people that were changed or they came out of homosexuality. They, they, they actually leave the gender that they, they chose to be. They go back to the gender that they were assigned at birth. I mean, you even bring in intersex, you hit so many different things, but is that what you hope to do is to show that just the, the harmony of the Christian worldview and where there's hope and peace in the middle of all that? Yes. Let me pause by saying I would not say assigned at birth. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> you know, who controls the language, you know, controls the outcome. That's right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> you know, so observed, what would you say? What would you say? Observed at birth. <laughs> observed I, at birth. You know, it's a scientific fact that is observed. And by the way, it's usually before birth. Most people have an ultrasound. Right. <laughs> but yeah, okay. it's a scientific fact that's actually observed. Um, yeah. Well, okay. in Love Thy Body, um, it's a little bit of different form of apologetics because people are no longer asking is christianity true they're mm -hmm. asking why are christians such bigots yes yes so in love a body my main goal is to show that the christian ethic actually is very life affirming and has a high view of the body and gives value and dignity to the body much more than the secular view does and since you mentioned stories let me give you one or two um mm. There's a young woman named Jean who lived as a lesbian for many years and became a Christian and, uh, and, and now is married and has two children. And here's how she expressed the change. She said, I came to trust that God had made me female for a reason. Mm. And I wanted to honor my body by living in accord with the creator's design. Mm. So a lot of what I do in Love Their Body is teach Christians, how to use that positive language, trusting God, um, honor my body, living in accord with the creator's design, respecting my biological sex, live in harmony with my body, with who I am. I'm, I, I think for Christians, we have to start just by changing our language so that we're focusing mm. on the positive. And the, uh, the other story that really brings this out well is um, Sean, Sean Doherty, who um, mm. was a uh, exclusively attracted to other men growing up. And what's interesting about his story is that he grew up in a quote, gay affirming family and attended a quote, gay affirming church. So he didn't think there was anything wrong with homosexuality. He was not driven by shame or guilt. You know, most people think that homosexuals that, you know, have shame and guilt piled on them. But that wasn't the case in his, uh, in his, for him. And today he's uh, married and has three kids, by the way, married to a woman, you have to say that these days. Um, so what changed for him? He said, um, I came, here's how he put it. I stopped basing my sexual identity on my feelings. And I started uh, basing my identity on my body. After all, feelings can change and often do. But my body doesn't. It's a, you know, it's an empirical fact that does not change and he said i decided and here's how he put it i decided to accept my body as a good gift from god and that's really the worldview issue at the heart of this debate do we live in a cosmos operating by blind material forces in which case our body has no intrinsic dignity or value it's just kicked up out of the slime by random forces or do we live in a cosmos created by a loving creator in which case our bodies are intrinsically good. They're good gifts from God. And see, see that positive language? We want to persuade people that their body is a good gift and that they should be honoring their own bodies. That's the message that will reach home. You know, we, it's not, we're known for having a ne negative message, right? Christians are known for saying it's wrong, it's a sin, it's against the Bible, don't do it, and there's something wrong with you. That's kind of what we're known for. And so love their body is really retraining people to say you are valuable in God's sight and your body is a good gift from God and we we are calling you to live in harmony with your body to respect your biological sex it's a, it's a completely different message mm.